So, in this one, there are two important officials of the British East India Company played a very important role here. Pahla naam hai William Jones and then we have S.T. Hello student, welcome to Plutus IS. Today we will discuss about Indian Historiography. You know that this topic is a very important topic for history optional examination for UPSC. And there are many times when UPSC had asked questions on the similar topic that what is the different trends of Indian Historiography, what is the different types of schools. Let me tell you that why this topic is very important not only for UPSC but also for the other perspectives also. You know that history is something about the past, but it is not only about the past. We have the different different topics are there, different different subjects are there. For example, sociology talks about past also, geography talks about geographical past, ethnomics also deals about the past. So many topics are there which dis discuss about the uh, past topic, but history is something that talks about past in a scientific manner. It will suppose that literature also talks about let us say Kalidas we have, let us say we have uh, Munshi Premchand is the one. Many persons have written about literature, Sanskrit, Hindi, Urdu and all. But history talks on the basis of sources that we cannot write anything in the history which is not reliable. So that is why history, the sources are very important in the history. So, let me tell you that what is the different schools through which historical writings are written. If I talk about a very famous historian of the world, this person is E. H. Starr. He has written in his book, What is History? That history is a continuous dialogue between past and present. But let me tell you that this other person like R. G. Collingwood in his book, Idea of History. He defined what should be history. He talks about that history is a imaginative and especially he also tells about history needs something. For example, history should be scientific. For example, if something has been written, one statement let us say that Shivaji had defeated Aurangzeb. This is statement. So, in order to prove false or true, we have to go into the past that which sources tells us that Shivaji had defeated Aurangzeb or not, then only we will be able to identify that what is history and what is truth, what is not truth. History should be humanistic also. Matlab, history may human involvement bahut hai. If humans are not there, suppose there is a history of plant, you will discuss this topic in the botany, the history of earth, you will discuss this topic especially in the geography, the history of money. No, no involvement of mankind, you will discuss this topic in economics. So, the point is that history, the human needs to be involved here, that is very important. So, let me tell you that how historical writings have evolved and why there is a different schools within the Indian historiography. Suppose that you are from the state of Rajasthan and if you write a history of Rajasthan, there is a 90 percent chances that you will be biased towards Rajasthan. You will try not to criticize your state or let us say you are from Rajput clan and you are writing about the history of caste, you will always try, try to write about that caste system is not so much exploitative. So, the point is the people are mostly biased, but suppose that you are from Rajasthan and you are writing a history of Madhya Pradesh. Now, you will be writing without any biasness because you have no any benefits in the Madh Pardes, right? That is why history depends on that and for some time, history had always been written through one's point of view. So, history has generalizations and biasness also. So, people write history according to their own imaginations, perspective and need also. For example, if someone will write about Nehru at this time, write about Indira Gandhi at this time in the present regime where BJP rules, there is 99 percent chances that if the historian who is writing about Nehru or Gandhi 
belongs to right wing group they will be 99% critical to the nehru or indira gandhi this is called biasness in the history so let us discuss now understand that different types of schools kaun kaun se hai and how should we understand this school so that we will be able to answer this questions in the examination as well to jab bhi hum baat kare so we have divided the schools of the indian historiography into four to five important schools that we will start from the 18th century onward as well so we generally divide the schools of indian historiography into five to six part let me write that first what is the timeline of these schools and then what is the features of this school so first school that we have witnessed especially in this time the first school is the orientalist school orientalist school this orientalist school student the main agenda of this school was very different you know that britishers have ruled over india for the two centuries about and they started ruling from the 1770s onward so they when they started ruling over india they brought a very important concept called orientalism in this orientalism concept these people these british officials and other people had to look into india for which purpose they had to look they had to look into india because they have to rule india and in order to rule india they have to understand about india indian culture indian customs and all so in order to understand about indian culture customs and all these people started reading about india so how to read about india they will read about ancient culture customs and all so in this one there are two important officials of the british east india company played a very important role here pehla naam hai william jones and then we have s t kulbrut two persons are very important so one person here who is a very important here in this school we have the sir william jones and second person we have the s t kulbrut do you know these are the two friends who decided to read ancient texts manusmriti ramayan mahabharat vedas and all and also persian texts so these two peoples especially i am talking about they have first of all read about what they have done so these two friends have done the study of two important languages one language was sanskrit and other language they had studied was the persian and then these people had translated these languages the the important book of these languages into the english language so that all english officials would be studying that and then it will help to help it will help them to rule over india so this orientalists especially believe that in order to rule india we need to understand india and for that purpose these people focus on the reading about indian cultures and customs so they had promoted orientalist education in india so orientalism was very important for these peoples a student do you know for that purpose these people had open a college also one college was open called kolkata madrasa so kolkata madrasa was open in the 1780s for this purpose only and then we have the hindu college was open in banaras hindu college was open at banaras this is what done by these people for this purpose and most importantly the sir william jones had opened the asiatic society of bengal asiatic society of bengal that is the most important part of that we know so these people especially the orientalist people had focused on the promotion of the indian cultures and customs but do you know within 30 30 years of this time ये स्टार्ट हुआ था आपको सत्रह सौ अस्सी के आसपास एंड बाई द एटीन टेन एंड फिफ्टीन द पीपल वर नॉट प्रोग्रेसिंग अबाउट द ओरिएंटल स्कूल वी हैव द सम पर्सन हु चैलेंज दिस आइडिया दे से दैट वी डू नॉट नीड टू फोकस ऑन द ओरिएंटलिज्म बिकॉज इंडियन लैंग्वेज इंडियन कल्चर इंडियन कस्टम्स हैड बीन बैरवरिक एंड अनसिविलाइज 
सो अदर ग्रुप हु आर द ब्रिटिशर्स ओनली ए पी ब्रिटिशर्स है बट अदर ग्रुप हु आर ब्रिटिशर्स ओनली दीज पीपल विल नॉट फोकस ऑन दिस टर्म्स दीज पीपल आर नोन हेयर एज दी दीज पीपल्स हेयर आर नोन एज दी इम्प्रिलिस हिस्टोरियंस तो इसको हम क्रोनोडियल हिस्टोरियन बोलते हैं द सेकेंड टॉपिक हेयर द सेकेंड थीम दैट यू विल बी हेयर डिस्कसिंग दिस वन इज कॉल क्रोनोडियल स्कूल और यू कैन कॉल देम एज अ इम्प्रिलिस स्कूल इम्प्रिलिस स्कूल ओके स्टूडेंट so this is a two important category in pre colonial in this one the most important persons you can include here the name that we can include here in this school the most important name is a james mill james mill and second person we have the v a smith these two historian especially in india had focus on a very different topic these people focus that we should not focus on the oriental education but we should focus on the western education in india and for that purpose especially if we talk about james mill has written the history of british india in the 1817 into 3 volume and in this history of india this person had history of british india this person tried to identify indian history into three part ancient medieval modern ancient became hindu ancient was ruled by hindu medieval was ruled by muslim and they they claim that the modern india is to be ruled by the britishers these people so humne kya dekha sabse pehla themes kya inka the most important theme of this people and especially i am talking about james mill is to division of indian history division of indian history then second theme inhone ne bola these people call indians as a barbarians and most important word they had used as a oriental oriental orientalist oriental despotism the most important word is that oriental despotism according to this word oriental despotism james mill tried to explain that indian rulers are mostly despotic matlab nirankush hai they had absolutist power they had nothing to do with the representation of the people they were only ruling the state for the revenue extractions they were not responsible for their people they have uh, they were very much stagnant ha na these people had not progressive and these people had a lack of individual liberty so these people especially had challenged indian historiography and if you remember v s smith ki or james mill ki baat kare they termed some of the periods in indian history like post modern period early medieval period and 18th century as a dark age of indian history aur yahan tak ki bola tha early medieval period mein feudalism tha so feudalism debate especially of the early medieval period had been started by this imperialist historian only so we have other names also here like max muller is other name that you can include here so these are the most important persons we see here max muller so we know that these are the colonial and the imperialist school that is a very important for us to understand these people now the third school will grow up in the 19th century here in the 20th century early 20th century the third school that developed here this school was known as a nationalist school nationalist school a student in this nationalist school the most important perspective that you will be coming to know here is that these people had challenged the historical traditions of the imperialist school and these people claim that no we had sense of liberty individuality and these people had especially focus on the history writing from the indian point of view and nationalism was the most important agenda of these people imperialist agenda simple tha the protection of the colonial rule in india and most important agenda of the imperialist people in, in nationalist people here was to promote the ideas of ideas and the spirit of nationalism here in india so in this school the most important person that we can see sabse important person sabko milenge r c majumdar 
R.C. Majumdar. The second person you will have in this school, Jadunath Sarkar. So R.C. Majumdar, Jadunath Sarkar, S.P. Chaudhary and all, and other persons and S.P. Chaudhary. These are the major persons who especially talks about that we have the sense of the nationalism. And these people have written about history of ancient India, R.C. Majumdar. They talked about that we have a simple example like the rulers like Asok we had, the Chandra Gupta Maurya, Chandra Gupta Maurya we had, uh, then we have the Samundra Gupta, Harsavardhan and all. These people have written that we have a sense of history writing also because in place people had challenged that Indians had no sense of history writing also. So these people have written from the point of view of the nationalism and these people had brought that the peoples like Prithviraj Chauhan, Maharana Pratap and Shivaji were the nationalist hero. So they have portrayed somehow Muslim. So in the eyes of the nationalist one, the, some of the Muslims rulers were also becoming villain. For them, they portrayed uh, the Muhammad Glory, Atwar or Aurangzeb as a villain. And if you remember, Jadnath Sarkar has written a multi-volume book on Aurangzeb only. And he claimed that Aurangzeb was a very religious bigotry person. So this is a peoples have written about the nationalist school and the nationalism was a very much agenda of these peoples. The fourth school that came here to be known, this school is known as the Marxist school. So especially till the time of the, till, especially till the time of the, till the time of the, the same Marxist school. So what happened in this school student? Till the time of the 1950s, the people were only focusing, till the time of 1950s, the people were only focusing on the nationalist perspective of school. So masses people came into existence in India in the 1960s, but in a global level, America, Britain, mein masses school, 1920s में आ चुकी थी 1930 के आसपास बहुत prominent writing है but India में 1960 के आसपास Marxist historiography develop होता है and in this school the people will challenge that imperialist imperialist is of course wrong but they say that nationalists are not 100 percent true and whatever they are writing ना they have the spectacles of the nationalism on their eyes they do not see anything apart from nationalism we have so many things apart from nationalism in India. So these people especially talks about the historical materialism. Hai na? These people are mostly influenced from which persons? These people are mostly influenced from Karl Marx. And Karl Marx theory kya tha? The theory of the Karl Marx depend on the historical materialism. Let me make you clear of this word. Historical materialism. In this word of the historical materialism, Karl Marx defined that the whole history subject is dependent, the, all the event of the history is dependent on the class struggle. Subject jo hai, class struggle ke hi dependent. Hai. Whether you write about the history of ancient India, modern India, anyone, the, there had been a struggle between class, lower class, class and upper class. These people does not focus on class system in India. These people will focus on the class, the poor and rich, the capitalist and the workers. So this system had been basically the fully explained by these people that is very important to understand for us as well. So these people focus on the Talmas idea and the historical materialism, the material life, economic perspective, social perspective. So social and economic history become the main agenda of these peoples by this time. And most important historian in this school in this time Okay, was none other than the other the we have the persons like in India, we will have the Romila Thapar. Somehow she is not fully Marxist. Okay, Romila Thapar is the most important name the people take about the Indian perspective. But we have the dozens of historians are there who especially focus on this idea. Hai na? The a points here. So, we don't have to talk about the most important Let's talk about the most important. So, we have D.D. Kosami. Then we have Irfan Habib. 
इरफान अवेब बी की प्रोमिला थापर देयर ऑल्सो प्रोमिला थापर सतीश चंद्रा सो दीज आर दिस्टोरियंस हु स्पेशली कनेक्टेड राइज एट सम हाउ एज अ मार्क्सिस्ट हिस्टोरियन एंड दीज पीपल हैव रिटर्न अबाउट द हिस्ट्री ऑफ द इंडियन हिस्ट्री फ्रॉम एंसेंट मिडीवल मॉडर्न टाइम थ्रू दी मार्क्सिस परस्पेक्टिव दैट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू अंडरस्टैंड तो इनके एजेंडा में सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट क्या होता है सोशल एंड इकोनॉमिक हिस्ट्री विल बी द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट ऑफ दिस पीपल दैट वी हैव सीन देन द फिफ्थ स्कूल डेवलप हु हैड चैलेंज दैट अर्लियर स्कूल्स हैव नॉट फोकस ऑन दिस टॉपिक सो द फिफ्थ स्कूल इन इंडियन हिस्ट्री इज नोन एज अ सबल्ट्रन स्कूल क्या बोलते इसको हम सबल्ट्रन स्कूल एन स्टूडेंट इन दबल्ट्रन स्कूल दीज पीपल हैड सेड दैट वी शुड नॉट ओनली फोकस ऑन द हिस्ट्री ऑफ दिस वन दैट वन है ना वेयर एज वी शुड ऑल्सो फोकस ऑन द मार्जिनलाइज क्लास हमें किस पे ध्यान देना है वी हैव टू फोकस ऑन द मार्जिनलाइज पीपल एंड हु कैन बी दिस मार्जिनलाइज पीपल दिस कैन बी दलित दिस कैन बी वुमेन दिस कैन बी पीजेंट्स this can be muslims so the history of those people who had not been mentioned in the history writing as a key important player in the history till now should be mentioned here so important person who founded this school the key founder here the first important person is ranjit guha they have written the history of peasants in india peasant insurgency is the most important book of this person we have dipesh chakrabarti एक्सेट्रा चक्र बढ़ती चक्र बढ़ती एक्सेट्रा सो दीज आर द मेजर पर्सन हैव रिटर्न अबाउट द इंडियन हिस्टोग्राफी दिस स्कूल केम इन रेजिस्टेंस इन द नाइनटीन एटीज एंड इट बिकम वेरी फेमस सो रेस्टोरेंट यू हैव अंडरस्टूड अबाउट द फाइव इंपॉर्टेंट स्कूल्स ऑफ द इंडियन हिस्टोग्राफी दैट स्पेशली टॉक्स अबाउट मेजर इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स हेयर दैट वी कम टू अंडरस्टैंड ओके सो वट वी नो हेयर इज दैट these are the five schools we come to know here the orientalist colonial nationalist marxist and the subaltern school that we need to focus so let me show you some of the sample questions and the puiq which had been asked in the history optional examination this will further help you to divide this topic as yes, when sometime the question can be directly asked on all these five school or sometime the question can be asked only the one school so let us see that which type of questions have been asked in the examination and the sample question i have prepared for your revision this will further help you to answer your writing so question 1 student say evaluate the role of colonial historiography in shaping the understanding of the india's past so the questions one hai in this question one you will rely on this topic of the two important part one is a orientalist school other is a imperialist school and if you write about the sir william jones s t kulbru james mill v s smith and max muller you will be able to answer very nicely this question so sabse pehle aapko start mein introduction likhna hai and in that introduction you have to write about what is history writing how british british established their rule in india and then how british is starting is starting about india and which type of book which type of society have been formed and who are the important historians have written about india and how also in the future indians have challenged this historical writing we have to mention in this question 1 question 2 say discuss the role of the nationalist historiography in reconstructing the india ancient past as i discussed in the beginning with you you will be talking about the nationalist historiography here these three names are very important to understand kya naam hai r c majumdar jadnath sarkar s b jay choudhary then b d savarkar and other people are there so you will be writing about these people in detail your answers will be complete here okay then the next questions that we are third question hai discuss the major contribution of the subaltern historiography in understanding the colonial history to point hai in the subaltern one we will write about ranjit duha dipesh chakrabarti sahid amin and so many other people are there so if you focus on that these school they are writing and all on the basis of your understanding you will be able to answer these questions also then next question we have a student question 4 evaluate the impact of the orientalist historiography on the indian historical narrative 
तो आपको इसमें जेम्स मिल है ना इससे पहले आपको सर विलियम जोन्स देन वी हैव कुल बुड जेम्स मिल वी एस स्मिथ मैथ्स मूलर दिज ऑल पीपल कैन बी मैंशन हेयर इन दिस वन तो क्वेश्चन फाइव है एनालाइज द कंट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ द मार्क्सिस्ट हिस्टोरियन टू द स्टडी ऑफ द अर्ली इंडियन हिस्ट्री तो मार्क्सिस्ट में सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट नाम क्या है स्टूडेंट क्वेश्चन फाइव में द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट नेम वी वी हैव द मार्क्सिस्ट वन द वी हैव डी डी क्रोसामी जिन्होंने इकनॉमिक परस्पेक्टिव से लिखा है डू रिमेंबर ही हैज अ डिबेट ऑन द मॉडर्न इम्पायर ऑल्सो ही हैज अ डिबेट ऑन दी दी द फ्यूडलिज्म टॉपिक ऑल्सो सो इफ यू रीड एन सेंट मिडिबल मॉडर्न इंडिया वेरी नाइसली यू विल हैव अ थाउजेंड्स ऑफ एग्जाम्पल्स टू टॉक अबाउट दिस टॉपिक Irfan Habib is a very important historian who talks about Indus Valley. So he is a main historian of medieval India, but he writes about ancient India also, particularly the Iron Age, Indus Valley civilization and all. Then we have Romila Thapar, we have Satish Chandra. So these are the major historians that can be written. So I hope that in this small video of half an hour, you will be able to understand that what is the different approaches to study about Indian historiography. And if any questions is asked in the examination on this topic of Indian historiography. I hope that you will be able to answer. If there is any doubt, any thing you want to ask me, you can feel free to comment here. Thank you for watching this video.